Hello and welcome back to Catch and Cook California. Uh, this is going to be part three of identifying mushrooms and today we're going to be looking at honey mushrooms. What we can identify already is that these are gilled mushrooms, they have long stems, and they're unequivocally growing on wood. They're probably honey mushrooms, but we'll, we'll look through the book for you guys just to see how that works. So one thing you want to look for too is look for the spore prints that are on the mushroom tops. It's a usually good sign. You want to look for honey mushrooms, you usually want this little white kind of spore print that's left on the mushrooms below in these stacks here. So just like this or like this. All right, so we're gonna cut the, a couple of these mushrooms off here. And I'm gonna cut them as close to the base as possible. Um, if it has kind of a scaly kind of sack formation, that's a good indicator that it's Amanita. With that said, um, some Amanita are edible, uh, but it's very hard to key out sometimes. And for beginner mushroom hunters, Definitely don't go after those because some of them are deadly poisonous. We're gonna pull out the handy dandy David Aurora book on mushrooms. We can't say enough about this book, it's amazing. So first off, um, you're gonna look if the mushroom has gills. Gills are basically these kind of ribbed formations. Um, so first thing is, yes, it does have gills. And you're gonna move over and read this portion. What color are the gills, right? Are they white? pink, yellow, and then also are the bases of these mushrooms structured a certain way? And this is what we were talking about, Amanita. If they have this kind of scaly, kind of bulbous sac formation at the base. Then we're gonna move down and we're gonna look at the veil and the veil cover and the ring. So we cut a young mushroom here. The veil cover is this covering that encapsulates the, the uh, gills of the mushroom and as it grows it'll actually detach and create this ring so as it grows You get this it does have a veil. It does form a ring So we're gonna move on then you're gonna move down and look at the gill structure. So if spores are mature uh, and mature gills are different color or if the gills are attached to the stock which in this case they are attached so we're actually gonna look at this one right here so you're actually gonna move down from there now if the spores are white and the mature gills are white, yellowish, or greenish. So we're gonna actually be looking at miscellaneous light spored gilled mushrooms with a ring, which is this guy again. We're gonna turn the page, and the great thing about this book is it has really good images of the different types of mushrooms that you're looking for. And lo and behold, this one right here looks very similar to honey mushroom. We found a photo that looks very similar to what we've actually found in the field. Uh, we're gonna keep keying this out. We're gonna look through it a couple times just to make sure and get every single characteristic of this mushroom correct so we can actually identify it correctly. So growing in, a cl in clumps on tree, logs, and stumps. Yes, it was. It was growing on a big cottonwood stump that we found out here. So that we know that key feature number one is correct. Okay, this is the only clustered white spored mushroom that grows on wood and has a ring plus stringy pith in the stock. You need to be 100% certain with mushrooms. Don't always trust even the most professional person on their word. Always be ready to, to identify it yourself and don't eat it if you're not sure. When in doubt, throw them out. We're gonna cook it on high heat. We know it's a honey mushroom. Let's give it a taste test. <laughs> So another thing you want to look out for, this one doesn't look like it's got any eggs growing on the gills, but 
that's a good indicator that there were bugs in here. joining us we got a little wild honey mushroom cheese scramble it looks delicious Kevin can't have any haha -ha. yeah right the cameraman definitely gets some <laughs> that looks too good man Hey, hey! <laughs> I get a bite before she does. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it good? So good. The mushroom, the, I like honey mushrooms, man. They got a good taste to them. Meanwhile, I'm over here watching this guy. Dude, give me a bite of that. <laughs> oh. Mmm. 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 Here. Dude, that is a good breakfast. Holy bejeebies. Oh, man. Here we go again. Oh. Good, right? With the avo. Yeah. Yeah, honey mushrooms are good. These mushrooms, surprising, they're very, they're like almost like a hearty kind of like oaky flavor to them. They're really good. And with the avocado, with the green onion, a little crunch in there, but like, man, we did this like true California style with the avocado, but it's, it's delicious. And the cheese in there, oh, it's so good. But yeah, those mushrooms are really good. 
And remember guys, keep the old ways alive. You know what we call this? A cluster <laughs> a cluster <laughs> of mushrooms. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Make sure it doesn't have a sack, a scaly kind of sack growing um, where it grows out of. That's a good indicator that it's Amanita. <laughs> you just said sack twice. Sack twice. <laughs> <laughs> like a true chef. 